Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Rebecca Joan Hampton Bryant, age 69, of Cullman, will be at 11 a.m. today at the Cornerstone Revival Center, Highway 69 near Simcoe. The Reverend Greg Wilbanks will officiate. Burial will be in the Concord Baptist Cemetery in Fairview. Funeral services for Ricky Godfrey, age 60, of Cullman, will be at 2 p.m. today at Cullman Funeral Home Chapel. Jerry Lawson officiating burial in Johnson Grove Cemetery, Cullman Funeral Home in charge. Funeral services for Tricia Dodson, 83, a resident of Cleveland, Tennessee, formerly of Hayden, are planned for noon today at Hopewell Church of God in Hansville. Burial will follow in the Bangor Cemetery in Hayden. Companion Funeral Home and the Cody family are honored to assist the Dodson family with arrangements. The family will receive friends 10 a.m. to noon today at the church. Funeral services for Charles Goodwin, age 83, will be at 11 a.m. today with interment in Vinemont First Baptist Church Cemetery. Moss Service Funeral Home is assisting. Funeral services for Alice S. Young, age 81 of Hansville, will be at 11 a.m. today at Valley View Baptist Church. Tim Barnett and Marvin Clemens officiate interment in the church cemetery. Hansville Funeral Home is assisting. Memorial services for Barbara Jean Whaley, or Watley, I should say, of Hansville, will be at 1 p.m. tomorrow at the Center Hill Cemetery Pavilion near the gravesite with Pastor John Jenkins officiating. Funeral services for Charles Randall Randy Nelson, age 58 of Cullman, will be at 1 p.m. tomorrow at Cullman Heritage Funeral Home Chapel. Hewlin Murphy and Charles York officiate interment in Enon Baptist Church Cemetery. Cullman Heritage Funeral Home is directing. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Bank presents today on two right here in Coleman, Alabama, Friday, October 31st. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's also Frankenstein Friday, uh, National Carve a Pumpkin Day. It's just a yeah. variety of different. There's all sorts of Halloween it's all related, sorts of Halloween related, related holidays things. today. No surprise there. So we've got a big show uh, scheduled for everybody, so let's jump right into it. Let's do it. The weather, of course, is brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Let's take a look at the Almanac for October 31st. The average high is going to be 71 degrees, the record being set at 86 degrees in 1984. The average low, 41 degrees, with the record being set at 24 degrees in 1952. Sunrise today, 6.06 .06 a.m. Sunset tonight at 5.55 p.m. That's, that's an early sunset. Yeah. And there's a look at the southeast radar for you. As you can see, we have some, uh, some cover, cloud coverage up there. Um, let's let's look at the uh, the radar or the uh, the forecast, I should say. Today it's going to be 62 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. The overnight low 33 degrees Ooh. with a 20% chance of rain. Uh, tomorrow 52. It looks like it's getting cooler. <sighs> There we can see on into the middle of next week, we have highs. Uh, it gets a little warmer there on Tuesday, 70 degrees, low of 52. On Wednesday, it looks like we have a 40% chance of rain with a high of 70 and a low of 53 degrees. So it looks like we might get some rain that gets yeah. a little warmer in the middle of the week. So yeah. that's that's a good thing for everybody it's out there. Nice for, you know, 
October, October or November. Right. It's going to be pretty. So um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the live ad that we had for today. Everybody, UPS has a big deal going on over there. Mm -hmm. And it ends today. So today's your last chance to take advantage, advantage at the UPS store of the prizes, refreshments, savings, candy, and everything that they're offering to you today. And, of course, they are located by um, in the shopping center with KFC and the foundry oh, and the H chance right over there on Good Highway 31. So you don't want to miss this. It's the last day the last to, for their customer appreciation. So celebration. let's take a look at our Facebook friend of the day. Let's do it. It's Miss Stacy Gamble Lindsay is our Facebook friend today and she likes Journey and the Golden Girls. So thanks so much Miss Lindsay for being our Facebook friend and we're going to give you that large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just come by here and pick up your certificate on your way out to Berlin. And of course this is one of the last weeks for football. It is. It is coming to it's an end. By, it hasn't is it? flown by and if, uh, we have a lot of games going on tonight. Actually we don't. We have two <laughs> games going on tonight. Uh, Coleman versus Russellville and Hansville at Good Hope. So so those are the the last week that, of course, we will have Coleman's game broadcasted mm -hmm. here on uh, on Channel Two um, on WFMH AM thirteen forty. So everybody can tune in to catch the game um, if they are interested in that because mm -hmm. we uh, we air it every week and it's the last week for it. Yeah, so, so don't miss it. Sports your Bearcats. And of course, it being Halloween, it is uh, this day in history. Um, we had a very significant event. Harry Houdini died. Um, he died from a ruptured appendix. Um, Interesting. From a, yeah, it's very interesting and again it was not that he was doing some crazy stunt yeah and you know got you know hurt i assume yeah. you know i think a, a ruptured appendix is it, a fairly average sounding it, it was disease. um it was it had it actually did have to do with a with a stunt that oh, he did it. so yeah you, you know you go out doing what you love i guess yeah i mean that's the, that's the way to go i guess <laughs> i guess that sounds very Maybe. not fun but anyway that's anyways uh, we have a very packed show for everybody today we have uh mr dave osmond with operation mm -hmm. christmas child mm -hmm. and uh pastor jerry lawson at daystar church today going to talk about his devotional um and a book signing that he's going to be having with miss deb over at deb's bookstore that's so fun. absolutely don't go away we'll be right back with mr dave osmond after this Find a way to boost our economy in this state. We're losing jobs every day. I'm a candidate that's for both business and labor. And I believe if we can bring business and labor together, we can create more jobs. And I wanted to make sure that my life meant something to the people that I'm around. And that's why I'm running for Lieutenant Governor, because I want to serve people. And I want to bring people together, because I know that hey, if we work together, if Alabamians come together, we can do better. Fire, accident, storm, they all happen in Coleman County, and for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Senator Paul Bussman is recognized statewide as an outstanding leader in the state Senate by tirelessly and continuously working for the people of Coleman County. He will continue to fight for working families by bringing more and better jobs to Coleman County. His record in the Alabama Senate proves he stands up for conservative values and principles as District 4 Senator. Coleman County Coroner candidate Jeremy Kilpatrick is currently the Deputy Coroner for Coleman County. He served in the Army for 12 years, four as a paramedic, and eight in emergency medical services. Jeremy is married with six children, a member of Temple Baptist Church, and a volunteer for the Battleground Fire Department. He is also unassociated with any funeral home. He is well trained and deserves your vote for Coroner of Coleman County. Mike Graves is 100% opposed to the federal government controlling our schools through the Common Core. 
He believes local schools should control teaching curriculum and teachers and parents should be given every opportunity to express their suggestions on how to best educate Coleman County students. Our schools do not need federal government bureaucrats telling them how to teach our children. Mike has served for 18 years with Vinemont Public Works Department and he is chief of the Providence Fire Department. He is now ready to serve his community by serving on the Coleman County School Board and keeping the federal government out of our schools. Vote Republican because they represent your principles and values. It's clear. Paid for by the Coleman County Republican Party. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Welcome back to the show, and today we are joined by Mr. Dave Osman, and he is with Operation Christmas Child. So tell us a little bit about what Operation Christmas Child is, Mr. Dave. Great. Thanks for having me, Absolutely. number one. No well, this started program started 22 years ago. Franklin wow. Graham at Samaritan's Purse started it. And over these 22 years, they've collected over 115 million of these boxes. Wow. They send the boxes all over the, all over the world, excuse mm -hmm. me. And in the box are a lot of goodies for the kids, but really the box is a conduit for the, for the Jesus Christ gospel message that's mm -hmm. in their language that's in the box that's delivered to every child. And uh, they also have a great follow-up program, The Greatest Journey 12-step program to lead the children to Jesus Christ. That's the objective match. Right. But the box and all the goodies, and with a lot of these kids, this will be their Christmas. Mm -hmm. You know, where we get a lot of goodies, all our kids and everything. And, and it's, uh, it's a very effective, simple, mission project. We have a lot of churches all over Coleman County participate, over 70 churches. We'll collect probably between around 7,000 boxes just oh, in wow. Coleman County. That'll almost fill up the van that you right. see on the courthouse down right. here. So it's, it's exciting. We start uh, November the 17th, that Monday morning, mm -hmm. at uh, Christ Covenant Presbyterian Church on St. Joseph's Tree, we'll start collecting boxes and they'll bring them in all week long all over the county. Wow. So is, is, where is, where did these mainly, I mean, is there a big focus for where these get sent? Like where do yes, there's, there's a lot of effort goes into where they go. You might say the right places, right. but they have ministers there. Right. They're preparing churches, children, the boxes are coming. So it's exciting for them. A lot of them will go, well, I think through like 60, 70 different countries. If there's been a disaster like in Haiti, they send a lot of boxes there. Or other islands where they've had in the Pacific where they've had earthquakes or other tragedy things. A lot of them go to Africa. I was in Africa about a month ago and believe me, when the kids get this, it mm -hmm. is something. Right. Can you tell us a little bit what specifically needs to go into the box just yeah, for I'm, people that are interested? Right. In, um, you know, one of the big things we're really stressing is hygiene items. Okay. Toothbrushes, washcloth. Okay. Can we, can uh, we take it out? That way everybody sure. can see. Crayons. Okay. Yeah, soap, bars like of soap. We get, and we get letters back All from sorts kids. Of things. Really? People that send, yeah, they do. They can respond back. And it okay. says how to go That's online. Precious. You know, to, mm -hmm. to uh, where they can, the kids can respond back. Right. Kids will have their own boxes, plastic boxes. They'll decorate them. They'll put photographs in there of their family, like messages, and, and sometimes they'll get messages back. That's awesome. But like one of them, it's just a little child wrote back and said, "Wow, I've got my own toothbrush. It was from an orphan's home. Right. Could you imagine sharing your toothbrush?" Oh my goodness. And yeah. this, this is the kind of yeah. places where they go. So it, for people that want to get involved, um, what is the first step to get involved? Yeah. You know, it's real simple and easy. We have these kits for churches. They have DVDs, several bit different clips on the DVD with Franklin Graham right. and other people that are involved in the ministry. 
Uh, if they want to pick up one of these boxes, we have them at our church, at Christ Covenant Presbyterian Church, or Chick-fil-A mm -hmm. has a display. They can pick up a brochure and a box, bring them back a filled box, and they get a free Chick-fil-A right. sandwich. So what, um, I'm assuming because these are cardboard boxes, there are certain things that are not yes. allowed to go. Can yes. you tell us I'm about some of that. the guidelines for people yes. that want to? Want to no liquids, number one. No okay. lotions or anything like that. Okay. And then anything related to war, no, you know, yeah. even little plastic knives, nothing like that whatsoever. Yeah. But okay. the big thing we find in there are liquids. Right. Mm -hmm. So no liquids okay. of any kind. And is food appropriate, like hard candy? Hard that candy, kind of thing? hard candy individually wrapped. Okay. Yes, definitely. And they say no chocolate. But okay. Tootsie Rolls, they'll accept. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good old Tootsie Rolls. Okay. All but right. no hard candy. So for people that oh, want to get involved, hard candy. they can pick up the boxes, Chick-fil-A. Uh, Chick-fil-A, Chick they can church. pick them there, go to our church. Or a lot of churches have them. Uh, we have an anonymous donor that's paid for all these boxes, which is very unusual for the whole county. So that's awesome. uh, they can pick them up. Or use your own shoe box. You don't have mm -hmm. to have these. Right, right. That you can, um, And it doesn't even have to be a shoe box, does it? It could be prefer to be something that size because size. we got to pack them all in boxes. Right, in right. Cartons. Well, I, I was I heard um, there was a lady at our church that was talking about um, how some of the kids, if they send uh, if they send the plastic, the little plastic boxes, they'll use the the lids for uh, for like plates. Yes. Um, in, yes. In countries, so yeah, and it, it, that's a good another good project for the children of the church. Buy the plastic boxes; you can yeah. get them at several different places for a right. dollar. Yeah. And then they decorate, the, you know, the mm -hmm. boxes. Yeah, yeah. And then pack them. Well, awesome. We have packing parties. Crosshaven has a big packing party. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so the whole church gets involved. You know, it's the time of year where the kids can go with parents and buy items for other kids right mm -hmm. knowing that the whoever receives this box is really it's going to be exciting for them yeah well it, it's a it's a good way yeah. also to teach um to not only to teach younger kids or, or even for adults it's a good way to really encourage mission work definitely um, so yeah, it's, it's a, a good way to, to, to impact simple easy mission project right. that the whole right. church can get involved absolutely in. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Dave. And again, it's you guys start receiving boxes on November 17th. November 17th. Awesome. November 17th. We'll go all that week. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show with us, Mr. Dave. And uh, and we really encourage everybody to go out and uh, and maybe purchase some items and uh, to donate to Operation Christmas Child. So don't go away because we will be right back with Pastor Jerry Lawson right after this. Find a way to boost our economy in this state. We're losing jobs every day. I'm a candidate that's for both business and labor. And I believe if we can bring business and labor together, we can create more jobs. And I wanted to make sure that my life meant something to the people that I'm around. And that's why I'm running for Lieutenant Governor, because I want to serve people. And I want to bring people together, because I know that hey, if we work together, if Alabamians come together, we can do better. I sell paintings of cats. I sell antique cameras. I sell mufflers. Surfboard stemware. I have no idea how to pack this. I need help. I need experts. It's fragile. Can you be trusted? The UPS store pack and ship guarantee. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it. So if anything happens to this, we'll take care of it. I love logistics. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it at the UPS store. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Senator Paul Bussman is recognized statewide as an outstanding leader in the state Senate by tirelessly and continuously working for the people of Coleman County. He will continue to fight for working families by bringing more and better jobs to Coleman County. His record in the Alabama Senate proves he stands up for conservative values and principles as District 4 Senator. 
Coleman County Coroner candidate Jeremy Kilpatrick is currently the Deputy Coroner for Coleman County. He served in the Army for 12 years, four as a paramedic, and eight in emergency medical services. Jeremy is married with six children, a member of Temple Baptist Church, and a volunteer for the Battleground Fire Department. He is also unassociated with any funeral home. He is well trained and deserves your vote for Coroner of Coleman County. Mike Graves is 100% opposed to the federal government controlling our schools through the Common Core. He believes local schools should control teaching curriculum and teachers and parents should be given every opportunity to express their suggestions on how to best educate Coleman County students. Our schools do not need federal government bureaucrats telling them how to teach our children. Mike has served for 18 years with Vinemont Public Works Department and he is Chief of the Providence Fire Department. He is now ready to serve his community by serving on the Coleman County School Board and keeping the federal government out of our schools. Vote Republican because they represent your principles and values. It's clear. Paid for by the Coleman County Republican Party. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. In uncertain times, we need leaders that can make tough decisions and stand firm for our conservative values. That's Senator Paul Bussman. As our state senator, he's worked hard to provide jobs, cut government waste, and eliminate debt. He spends time in the district listening to our concerns and representing our Alabama values. State Senator Paul Bussman, a leader who works hard for us. And there's more work to be done. Welcome back to Today on 2, and we've got with us Pastor Jerry Lawson from Daystar. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, thanks. <laughs> so, okay, you've written this devotional. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Just give us an overview. Sure, yeah, it's called uh, 21 Days with Jesus, okay. and um, it's, it's titled that way because um, it really is uh, 21 of my days. Uh, I try to, you know, like all believers, try to spend some time with Jesus, uh, some time in prayer. And um, so I had a uh, sort of a personal mm -hmm. crisis uh, experience um, you know this is uh, still uh, what they call pastor appreciation month and uh, somebody posted on my Facebook page all the terrible stuff about being a pastor it kind of depressed me <laughs> all the people who drop out of ministry 90% of pastors don't have a friend it was just um, just like man somebody should have told me this a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but some of that's true I mean it's just really it can be real tough and so um, you know I'm the pastor of Daystar Church here in Coleman and um, so after about 10 years uh, pastoring this church um, you know I kind of hit it, uh, kind of a rough spot just sure. I don't know what burnout is but people talk about it a lot it kind of felt like maybe that's what it was and um, I went over to a pastor um, Perry Noble met a guy a pastor a great pastor over in South Carolina and I went to a conference he was doing, and um, he just really turned me on to a different way to look at Scripture. And um, so I, I stopped doing my devotionals on a daily basis based on Sundays here, you know, right around the corner. Right. i got to have a sermon for these people. Mm -hmm. And so it's like every time I was reading the Bible, it was about somebody else, you know, right. and it was not about me, you know. And so um, I, I go into detail a little bit in the book about, about a different way to look at the Bible when you read it. And uh, so for me, uh, what I started doing is I started journaling. I brought one of these journals. Um, it, and I just started, instead of reading the Bible, like I've got to read a certain amount every day because I'm a schedule kind of guy. Mm -hmm. right. So, I mean, if you, get, if you get stuck there in Lamentations, which is just, <laughs> you know, God my life is coming to an end, <laughs> God. To yeah. You get stuck there reading about 10 uh, chapters of Lamentations or whatever. I don't even know if it has 10, but whatever. <laughs> um, it's just depressing. Right. And so what I decided is I'll just read until... I feel like God says something to me, like this something jumps off the page. And if you've read the Bible much, you know it'll do that. It'll yeah, just jump yes, off the does. page. And so I just would write, okay, this is this is the verse that spoke to me. Here's what I think it said, and and here's what Jesus is saying to me through this. And so, um, I mean, I filled up uh, little devotional books like wow. this, just one after another after another. Um, it just really changed everything for me. And so um, a while after that, people. 
were asking me about, you know, when you write something, all these messages you share, why don't you write? And I thought, you know, I've already written, because I've got a stack of these this high, you know. Right. I thought, these are all personal moments with God, and if I just shared some of those, and so what I'd really do is I just found 21 of my favorite mm -hmm. um, Jesus moments, you know, that were specifically about something Jesus said or something said about Jesus or something Jesus did and, and how it was just uh, very personal to me. And, and it, was, it was kind of a challenge because uh, this was never written to be shared. So some mm -hmm. of it's kind of raw, it's kind of right. personal. It's kind of, I didn't think preachers thought like that, but you know, when you're just writing your own devotionals with God, you don't, you don't clean it up any, you right. just, mm -hmm. you know. So this is kind of where it came from, and um, so we shared it with our church. A lot of people have been blessed by it, and, and a lot of other churches are using it sort of as a, their devotional book. And wow. so we're hoping to get it out to you know everybody around Coleman. That's awesome. So have you had any any testimony back from people that have have, have been touched that are maybe not from this area? Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's on Amazon, so a lot of folks will download it and right. uh, just just wherever they are. So you have gotten a lot of response from people, um, uh, some some feedback on Amazon that you can right. read, and then sure. some uh, Twitter. You know, some people hit me from Twitter from all around, so that's gotcha. that's fun. A couple people from other countries, so that's, that's awesome. It's kind of neat. That's yeah. awesome, and it's so it's being distributed on Amazon, and where else can you find it? Uh, well, uh, we're going to have it at Deb's Bookstore. Okay. Uh, we'll be doing our first book signing next Wednesday at from. 11 to 2. Okay. So we'd love for folks to come by there and we can just, you know, anybody uh, that would, would come by and pick it up, I'll talk to them a little bit about it and uh, right. get to meet a few people. That's cool. Well, so next Wednesday from 11 to 2. Um, so is there anything else that you want to, that you just want to share with people? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I'm a pastor. I'll share. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I, I just really think the most transformational uh, person in all history is Jesus. Right. And, mm -hmm. and um, you know, all my sermons, uh, Joe, you've been in church with yeah. me, they're Jesus stuff. Everything is about Jesus all the time because for me when I was uh, in college, I had a real personal struggle. I grew up in church and I was a nice little church kid, did everything they told me to do and then I got uh, in, into college and got to thinking on my own and you know, I, I, why is Christianity right and, and Islam is not and all these other faiths and I picked up an old book. Um, called No Wonder They Call Him the Savior. It's a book by Max Lucado, and it was just about Jesus. And it explained that nobody's got a Jesus. You know, like every other faith has a story. They, right. A lot of them share flood stories. A lot of them share, uh, you know, the stories of the prodigal son in some uh, way. But nobody's got Jesus. And, and Jesus, I mean, he literally split history, you know, right. before and yeah. after Christ. And uh, he rose from the dead. And every other faith has this idea that, you know, your uh, greatest goal is to give your life for your God. Mm -hmm. But our faith says God gave his life for us. And so exactly. there's just nothing in the world like Jesus. And so that's what, I, I didn't want to be a preacher. I, I, that's crazy, that you know, <laughs> Bible thumpers. I, sure. But when I really met Jesus, I, I had met religion, I grew up in religion, but, and I met the church. When I really met Jesus personally, he just reordered everything. And I was just so happy to do whatever, okay, if you want me to be a preacher, whatever, I'll, I'll do whatever because right. there's just no one in the world like Jesus. So, um, you know, it would just make sense. My books would be about Jesus be, because he's, he's who changed my life. Well, there you go. Well, you'll have a chance to pick up the book, of course, next Wednesday between 11 and 2 at Dad's Bookstore. It's also available on Amazon. And you were saying on the Kindle. On the yeah, Kindle, you can get so. the Kindle version or you can get the print version. The print version. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Pastor Jerry. My pleasure. My pleasure as always. So uh, go and check out that book signing next Wednesday. And we will be right back with our merchant ad, so don't go away. All right. In uncertain times, we need leaders that can make tough decisions and stand firm for our conservative values. That's Senator Paul Busman. As our state senator, he's worked hard to provide jobs, cut government waste, and eliminate debt. He spends time in the district listening to our concerns and representing our Alabama values. State Senator Paul Busman, a leader who works hard for us. And there's more work to be done. On Your Own Home Furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens, offering bedroom furnishings including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings including sofas, lugs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. 
located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Find a way to boost our economy in this state. We're losing jobs every day. I'm a candidate that's for both business and labor. And I believe if we can bring business and labor together, we can create more jobs. And I wanted to make sure that my life meant something to the people that I'm around. And that's why I'm running for Lieutenant Governor, because I want to serve people. And I want to bring people together, because I know that hey, if we work together, if Alabamians come together, we can do better. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Now it's time for part of the show where we like to tell you about some of the local merchants in our area. Mm -hmm. So of course that means we have some prizes to give away. Yeah, let's look let's at those prizes. We have two tickets to Saxational, the Coleman Community Concert, this Sunday, November the 2nd at 2 p.m. at the Betty Lee Haines Theater. We also have two free cupcakes from Frostings. We also have your choice of any of the three at the bottom of the screen from Bojangles of Coleman. And a day pass for six to the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. Four mm -hmm. prizes. That's awesome. You that is these. unprecedented. You know you Let's go uh, let, let, listen up to these next ads because we will be asking you a question about one of them. Let's go ahead and jump into our ads on this October 31st. Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Earth Store. It is a complete espresso bar and organic fair trade shade grown specialty coffees and bulk teas. Of course, they have tons of events going on there. Tonight, the Spook House Saints, straight from Spooky Town, there at Berkeley Bob's. Jolly Town Reynolds is where fun is always in the air, and you can contact Holly Malins at 256-620-JOLLY. That is 5655. And she, of course, has those license inflatable slides, water slides, and more. Pizza Hut All You Can Eat Lunch Buffet, a new featured pizza every day and a lunch buffet from 11 to 2, only $6.49. Sunday Night Buffet from 5 to 8, that's Coleman Pizza Hut. Go check them out. Deb's Bookstore, your hometown bookstore, she's just down the road. Gift certificates are available and browsers are welcome. And of course, she's going to be hosting Pastor Jerry Lawson at his book signing next Wednesday from 11 to 2. Cotton State Barns, buy or rent to own barns starting at $14.96. No credit check, you're approved. Carports, play sets, utility trailers, storage buildings located on 278 West. Grand Point Pharmacy is a coffee shop and a gift shop. And of course, they make managing your prescriptions easy because managing your health is hard enough. Mr. Hicks Menswear and Formal Wear. It is Coleman's only men's specialty store for suit and sport coats. Also, you can ask about free grooms tux rentals or special group pricing. Out of town groomsmen, out of town groomsmen are no problem. <laughs> tires for Less offers Bridgestone and Firestone tires, but they also offer offer oil changes, minor engine repair. They replace shocks and brakes. They do alignments. They are open at 7:30. All right, that is our first round of merchant ads right here on Today on 2. Our number at the bottom of the screen, 734-7399, and our question is going to be presented by Tawny today. Here we go. Our question today is about Grand Point Pharmacy. What do they make managing easy? What do they make managing easy? So, if you know the answer to that question, give us a call at 734-7399 while we take a look at Money Matters right here on Today on 2. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Caitlin and this is Amy and we're both from Premier Bank. Amy, can you tell us about each service that all of our offices offer? Yes, you can stop by any of our nine offices and open a checking account, saving a savings account, IRA, apply for a loan, pretty much anything you need we can help you with. So come by and check us out at any of our nine locations. Thanks and we hope to see you soon. All right, I think we have a caller. Let's okay. check it out. Hello, who's calling? Pat. I'm sorry? Pat. Pat. Oh, hey, Miss Pat, how are you? Fine. Fantastic. Okay, so our question, Tani, again. Okay, what does Grand Point Pharmacy make managing easy? Prescription. Prescription. All yes. right, that is Good great. Time. Yes, ma'am. So you will, of course, receive all four of those prizes. If you will hold on the line, we will be right with you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ms. Pratt, good job. Um, and of course, our uh, Grand Point Pharmacy, they make managing your prescriptions easy because managing your health is hard enough. That's right. So let's take a look at the second round of merchant ads right here on Today on 2. Look at that pumpkin go. It's my favorite. <laughs> the Red Door Emporium will save you a seat Monday through Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 7 to 1. They're located next to the Coleman Times. Go check them out. They have a lot of cool, neat stuff in there. Earl's Body Shop has been voted Best Automotive Repair in Coleman. They do large and small towing and they go local or long distance. They also offer 24-hour towing and they're located on Highway 31. Elect Gary Murphy Coroner. It's not about politics in Washington or Montgomery. It's about choosing the right man for the job. Mm -hmm. That's coming up soon, so don't forget to vote. 16 years of experience as your coroner. Elect Gary Murphy as the coroner. There he is. All right, Chesley Oaks Golf Course is open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week. They have four sets of tees to suit golfers of all abilities, so they are an 18-hole golf course located in the Fairview area. That is Chesley Oaks Golf Course. Your local farmer's insurance agency is Tommy Warhurst. Located next to Specialty Pharmacy, call today for your free quote or visit thewarhurstagency.com. Mullins Body Shop, you have counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and service, and you can count on them today. Call Sunny Stacy Beth or Jim at 256-734-1353 at Mullins Body Shop. B-Fit is a fitness facility in downtown Coleman next to Renard's Gallery. It's $100 per month, month to month. No contracts, and your membership includes a free personal trainer. Go check out B-Fit. Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center is offering day passes, of course. They have a six-lane competition pool, full fitness center, indoor rubber walking track, aerobic and cycling classes, an indoor leisure pool, and a whirlpool spa at the Coleman Aquatic Center. And the winner is Pumpkin Pie. It beat out Apple Pie for the notorious October Blizzard of the Month spot. Mm -hmm. You can go check it day. out one more day. Go get it. It's good. Tasset Cafe is offering specials every day on tacos, fajitas, burritos, and more. They offer a buffet on Friday and Sunday, and Casa Cafe is located across from the post office. Steel Orchard, the highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. Buy a fresh hand-picked fruit from over 20 different varieties of apples. That's Steel Orchard. And Frostings, the cupcake flavors of the month for one day left in October are German chocolate, pumpkin, and caramel apple. They're located in the Market Plot Center near um, the movie theater and TJ Maxx. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, offering family barbecue packages starting at $14.99, a pound of meat, two sixteen ounce sides, and four buns. Go check out Mad Dog Mike's. And those are our merchant ads for today. If you saw somebody you liked, go and check them out. We like to support our local commerce here in Coleman. Mm -hmm. And of course, congratulations again to Miss Pat. We will be right back with our community billboards so we can uh, let you know what's going on here in Coleman. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. In the nation, we worry about fire-breathing monsters. And we worry about spinach. At Nationwide Insurance, we take care of the big things like protecting you, so you only have to worry about the little stuff. We put members first, because we don't have shareholders. 
Join the nation that doesn't sweat it. Nationwide is on your side. Find a way to boost our economy in this state. We're losing jobs every day. I'm a candidate that's for both business and labor. And I believe if we can bring business and labor together, we can create more jobs. And I wanted to make sure that my life meant something to the people that I'm around. And that's why I'm running for Lieutenant Governor, because I want to serve people. And I want to bring people together, because I know that hey, if we work together, if Alabamians come together, we can do better. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sauteing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. Own Home Furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens, offering bedroom furnishings including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings including sofas, lugs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. Located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. Our community billboards are sponsored by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. There's a free community health fair. It'll offer free health screenings, health, health and wellness vendors, children's activities, and health presentations. The first 100 people will get free flu shots. And this is going to be happening Saturday, November 1st at Christ Covenant Presbyterian Church from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Veterans Day celebration at Veterans Memorial Park on Sportsman's Lake is going to be Saturday, November 8th from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. The guest speaker is Vietnam POW Lieutenant Colonel Myron Donald. There will be a complimentary lunch served for all veterans and their spouses. The Mount Olive Church Ladies Christmas Bazaar is Saturday, November 8th from 8 to 3 at the Fairview Town Hall. They're offering famous homemade desserts, original arts and crafts, white elephant table, uh, a white elephant table, breakfast biscuits, and lunch. <coughs> And of course, the Lost State Theater presents William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. It'll be November 6th and 7th at 7 p.m. and November 8th and 9th at 2 p.m. in the Betty Lee Payne's Theater in the Student Center. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for children. And if you have a community billboard you'd like to share with us, you can visit us on the web at channel2coleman.com. You can call us at 256-734-7399 or be our friend on Facebook at channel 2 Coleman. And we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Miss Melissa Robinson, Miss Catherine Hooper, Miss Debra, Debra Olinger, and Miss Chastity Wright. And tomorrow we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Mr. Dale Ragsdale. And on Sunday we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Miss Elaine Peake. And of course, those are going to be put into the, the drawing along with the, our birthdays from the rest of the week to receive an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen happening in just a moment. And we're going to draw from our anniversaries to select a winner for the $15 gift certificate from the <coughs> Candle Garden. And that's happening right now. Right now. All right. Let's go ahead and do this drawing real quick. Let's do it. Here we go. And the birthday cake winner is Christy Turner. Good. Happy birthday. Your birthday was Ms. earlier Christy. in the week. And the anniversary winner. Daniel and Jennifer Sellers. Happy anniversary. I think your anniversary was also early. It in was the week. early in the week. Absolutely. Go, well, let's take one last look at the weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. <laughs> Today, Halloween 62 is a high with a 20% chance of rain going into tonight, which also is 20% chance of rain and an overnight low of 33 degrees. Tomorrow looks like it's going to get a little cooler, 52 uh, with no rain in the forecast. So um, everybody, yeah, stay safe tonight. 
stay uh, warm tonight because mm, it'll be dry tonight. Cool. Stay dry tonight. <laughs> Just be careful fun. overall tonight, but have fun. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Hope you have a great day.